Today we have over 3 billion people connected to the internet, but within a few years we'll have over 50 billion machines and assets connected to the internet. It's essential that you have that human aspect tied with the machine. Given the safety and security issues that we have faced, in order to do what we do in the industrial sector. Digital Ghost is a protection for our control systems. A control system is like the brain of a system. It has input from sensors, it thinks about what to do next, and it makes the change happen. Our Digital Ghost application is essentially an immune system for our industrial assets. So just like a human body catching a flu virus, our bodies naturally react. We send white blood cells to the site, they neutralize and effectively destroy the virus. The Digital Ghost operates that same way for an industrial system. So in the human body, as we age, body temperatures change, blood pressure changes, the immune system adapts to that and then begins to protect the system. In a power plant, if we decide that we're about to deliver a higher capacity, I may ask that turbine to actually generate more electricity. So hypothetically, if a power plant was having an issue and say several sensors were now providing false data, implying that the control system should be increasing the firing temperature of the turbine, immediately the downstream sensors would see in this network that those sensors couldn't be truthful. If one of the sensors is giving you data that you don't think is correct, what you do is you stop listening to that sensor. Similar thing to a human immune system, you isolate that sense, in other words. This is a new kind of protection for control systems, and it wouldn't have been possible without one of our engineers who came in with a background in biomedical engineering. Today's research is just building off of yesterday's research. It requires more backgrounds and disciplines to solve those problems. So a team that requires someone who understands biology and electronics and mechanical systems and coding, it's very rare to find that in one person, and the skills needed to solve the problems of our day are multidisciplinary and very complex.